So, you want to get the color grade of Netflix's The Sandman. Well, today I'll show you how to get those colors and get that look from the church scene. So, we'll start out with this still. First, I'm going to select this node and I'm going to type in Color Palette into the Effects tab. I'm going to drag and drop it onto this node. This shows the highlights, midtones, and shadows of this shot. Most of this shot is in a cyanish green. Next, we're going to go to our shot. I'm going to place down a node, name it 709. Then, in the effects tab, I'm going to grab a color space transform. I'm going to drag and drop it onto this node. Next, I'll plug in my camera's color space, Rec 2020 and F-Log for Fujifilm. And the outputs, I'm going to put 709 and Gamma 2.4. Now we have a basic 709 node. We're going to add another node before this. This is where we'll do the color grading. For the first node, I'm going to name it Exposure. Since my footage was underexposed for this sequence, I'm going to raise the exposure almost to a full stop. Next, I'll add another node, and this will be the contrast. I'll adjust this to my liking, as close as I can get it to the actual footage, and I'll move on to saturation. Now, I'm going to desaturate it a lot because the original footage from the show looks more desaturated. After I put the saturation down, I'm going to add another node and name this look. Here I'll adjust the colors. I'll try to bring it into that minty green look. Then I'll adjust the highlights to make them a little more warm. And I'll adjust the shadows to make them a little more blue. Then I'll correct it a little bit in the log wheels. For the next node, I'm going to put a glow. Go to the effects tab and type glow, drag it and drop it into this node. I'm going to adjust the settings to make it softer, just how it looks in the actual still. Then I'm going to add another glow node and I'm going to copy and paste this one on. I'm going to change the settings to screen instead of soft light. And then I'm going to up the threshold until it just gets the highlights. For the spread, I'm going to turn it to 0.5. And this creates a soft look around the highlights of the image. After this, I'm going to add a correction node. I'm going to edit the shadows, bring them up. And I'm just going to adjust the overall image. Maybe the log wheels. For this last node, I'm going to add a vignette. This draws the eye in, and as we can see from the still, it looks like they also have a vignette from whichever lenses they use. So I'll create a mask, a circular mask, I'll stretch it out a bit, feather it a bit, then I'll go to the curves and pull down the midtones. Now I'll go back through the grade and adjust anything else just to make it look slightly more like the actual film. And that's the look. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more. And click here if you want to see how to get the most common Hollywood look.